Okay, so the first question. Hello everyone. Has anyone encountered this problem with their ads? Local service policy causing your ads to be eligible but limited. I'm confused as, as to why this policy has been violated and Google are not providing me with a definite answer as to why this is happening and how to prevent it. Any feedback thoughts would be really appreciated. Now, those of you watching this on a mobile, you might not be able to read it. Um, so when you go on your desktop, you should be able to read it. I made this quite nice and big, uh, but I will read out every question as well. So eligible limited, you will get from time to time. Uh, we also get it. And for example, when I'm running ads for our, for our company, for our services, we run Google ads. So we have to put in Google ads in, in the ad copy, right? Google is a trademark. So anytime you use a trademark, you will get that. Um, and the ads run fine. So if your ads are running fine, ignore that. Uh, just let it run. You can't do much about it. But going to the Google Support Center, this is what they say about the eligible limited. Um, it is a status given to ads that comply with Google's policies, but are limited in where and where they can show. An ad will be marked eligible limited when Google has policies. Uh, common examples include alcohol, copyrights, gambling, healthcare, and trademarks. Prevent certain types of ads from showing in certain regions to certain ages or on certain devices. Ads won't show on mobile devices if the destination performs poorly on mobile devices. So this is the official statement from Google support. That is where you should go. Every time, if you are not sure, you can either come here on this channel or go to Google support, uh, wherever. But Google support is where you will get the most accurate and the latest information as to what, because things do change in Google, right? So it's best to go to support. And as I said earlier on, it's the trademark issues which you will find. So without knowing what kind of ad copy it is, if you have used any trademark, then you will need to remove it if you want to get rid of the eligible limited. For me, I can use pay-per-click as well without writing Google ads in the ad copy, and that will solve the problem for me. So we run both. We use pay-per-click ads or pay-per-click um, help or Google ads help, uh, whichever way. I can see quite a few comments and questions popping up. So yeah, please ping them in and I'm going to go through them in that order received. All right. I'm new to Google Ads. I'm getting a good impression and clicks, but still there is no conversion. Can someone help me to get a conversion? So this is a very broad um, comment or question you asked. Without knowing how you have set this up, nobody can help you, not even me because I don't know what the keywords are, what the ads are, what the product pricing offer, the landing page and so on. There's so many different variables. So you just can't expect conversions right off the bat. Yes, they do happen if you've set them up properly and you have built the foundations and lined them up. Uh, all, all the uh, pillars in your uh, campaigns properly, but if you just run up, set up a campaign and you expect people to convert, that won't happen. So what you want to do is to first look at the Google side of things and then on your website. What I mean by Google is in your Google Ads account, you go into your search term. See if your ads are being triggered by the relevant search terms. If they are not, then you don't use broad match, go to phrase or exact, tight, every, tighten everything up and then start to run. Um, you are saying you're getting a good impression and clicks. Um, I'm not sure whether you are getting a good CTR because impressions and clicks don't mean anything. Um, CTR is pretty much very low, it's 0 .0, less than 0 0.01. If it's on a search network compared to a display or video, again, the CTR will vary. If it's for a brand campaign, 
the CTR should be a lot higher because people are searching for a brand. So if you are running this as a brand campaign, there is something seriously wrong with this because you should not get such a low CTR. So I'm going, I will uh, first look at how to improve my click through rate because if my ads are not enticing enough, people are not clicking on it or are my ads being shown to the wrong audience. And that's what you need to look at. So first look over here, get your goals. So we always set up a goal for each one of these metrics. What should be the minimum CTR? Um, what should be the conversions we need every day? What's the conversion rate and the cost per conversion or the ROAS? Once you know all of these, then you start to optimize it on a day-to-day -day basis. And in one of the next videos, I'm going to show through our daily tracker every day we track and see how the perform uh, campaigns are performing or not performing so i can't say much get the google ads going first get your metrics to align with your goals and then if they don't convert then you know i've got the right keywords i've got the right search terms my match types are pretty good my ads are uh, good with my relevant message on the ads then you look on your website or your landing page. Okay, now they click through, but they don't convert. Why is that the reason? And why is why are they jumping off? Then you look into your engagement level, how much time they're spending on the website. Are they clicking on any videos, scrolling to the bottom of the page and so on, consuming your content. And then you can start to improve your conversion. So there's a lot of work to be done on this campaign and on this account, unfortunately. All right. Hi, Scarlett. Uh, does anyone have a good strategy for understanding? And these are the type of questions I get on our YouTube and Facebook channel and Facebook group. Um, does anyone have a good strategy for understanding if your ads are getting fraudulently clicked on by competitors or spam traffic without using a third party uh, apps like Clixies? If so, how can we try to combat this issue? Thanks for your suggestions. Okay, you will never be able to get rid of invalid clicks. That's what Google likes to, uh, to term it. Just like if every shopkeeper in the world will try to minimize or stop people stealing from the shops, no matter how many cameras or security they put in, people will get a way around stealing stuff. Even banks get robbed, right? With so much security. Um, you can minimize it absolutely by using um, third party apps, but you'll never be able to completely get rid of it. So the way to do this is first of all, you look at potentially the IP addresses. And if you find that there is a lot of clicks coming from the same IP address, then you can block it. Now, those spammers and those people, they will never use the same IP. They are going to use different IPs all the time to obviously counter combat um, um, the clicksies and the, the apps which block the invalid clicks. So what you want to do is to do that for, and then look at your keywords and the search terms. When they come through to your landing page or your website, if they are bouncing off within three seconds, five seconds, then you know that you're getting a lot of spammy uh, and irrelevant traffic. Then you, you need to think about, does that keyword have intent or not? Another good way which we have found of reducing and minimizing the spam is using long tail keywords. And that way, although you will get less traffic to your site, you'll get highly intent traffic. So try to uh, go for long, uh, long tail keywords, three, four, five word uh, keywords and see if that makes any difference. The other way you can do that is through video ads and display or display a network has got the same problem as well. But if you keep a very close eye on it and exclude all those spammy 
uh, placement, you can get some very low cost, but high quality traffic to your site at a fraction of the cost. Okay, the next question, what are the best strategies to go about finding lower CPCs for highly competitive industries for clients with lower monthly ad spend and traditionally higher CPCs such as HVAC? Do you feel like manual CPC is still effective with Google moving to more automations? Yeah, good question. So first of all, you don't want to just focus on lowering the CPCs. Um, cheap clicks are cheap for a reason that they don't convert very well. Expensive keywords are expensive for a reason because they convert very well. They give you a good ROI and ROAS. So you shouldn't just focus on reducing the CPCs because if your competitors are being aggressive with their bidding, you are going to out get outranked every time your ads won't show all the time and you or your customer will wonder why our ads aren't shown, shown. So what you want to do is to focus on increasing the conversion rate, because even if you are paying a higher CPC, which HVAC and plumbers and gold, um, locksmiths have traditionally double digit uh, clicks, you know, $60 clicks, $100 clicks and so on, you need to, um, try to increase your conversion rate. The other thing is you need to manage the client expectation. If your click cost is $100 and the client has got $2,000 a month a budget, it just won't work because you're hardly going to get 20 clicks a month and nothing is going to happen. So you need to manage that client expectation as well as to how much budget they need. And if they don't have the budget, I would recommend that you don't waste the time uh, you waste your time with them because it will be frustrating and you won't be able to to do it so for these kind of services dependent on how many clicks or calls they want you know 15 to 20 clicks a day is nothing but that should be the bare minimum which I would go for as a starting point and then we, I multiply that by the CPC and tell the client if you got a budget which is equals to this much, then we go forward. Otherwise, um, we don't take on that client. Okay. Hi, Abdullah. I just wanted some quick suggestions on an issue that I'm facing. I was running Google Ads for a client. Okay. I changed the payment method and my payment profile is suspended. I filled the forms and provided all the required documents, but haven't heard back from Google since weeks. Okay. I tried to create a new Google ad account and added one of the cards that I've used previously. And before I even made a campaign from my pay a payment profile was suspended again. Would really appreciate some help on this. Has anyone experienced something similar? How do you fix it? Okay. So first of all, never use your payment on the client account. Even if you have created the ad account, which I won't recommend. What we do is we tell our clients, you got to have your own ad account with your own billing and your payment details in that account. We never, ever, ever get involved with setting up payment profiles and setting up cards and bank details in the ad in the account because the client's billing is diff address is different to yours. Google sees this as a bit dodgy or fraudulent or oh, somebody's trying to put up a, a payment account. I'm not saying it's you, but that's how they will see. So if I have my own account, uh, account with my own billing and my address and my payment details match my address, you won't have any problem. This is why in 10 years or so, we've never had any problem like this, not even once that or the payment uh, account got suspended because of this issue. Secondly, the client is never going to blame me or my company. Oh, well, because you did this and you changed the payment and the profile and blah, 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 uh, we got suspended and we are now suffering because our ads aren't running. Don't do that ever. Um, and thirdly, if you are putting in your card and what if your, if your client doesn't pay you, then you are going to lose out big time. So the client pays Google and the client pays you for your fees separately. That's it. 
even if you set up a new account, the payment profile is the same and they have got so many data points. Google is a lot more clever than we are, right? So don't try to outsmart Google. They know more about us than we know about ourselves. And I've heard this so many times. Oh, I'm going to create a new account. I'm going to use VPN. I'm going to do this and do that. Don't. Every time you do it, you're digging a deeper hole for yourself and you will get um, suspended uh, time and time again. As you said, that you haven't even set up a campaign. And as soon as that um, payment profile is gets flagged up in that account, account gets suspended. So that's how you do it. The only thing I would suggest you do is you deal directly with Google and try to get to the bottom of it. And I know for a fact that these things do take time, but Google support will look into this matter and come back to you unless there is something really wrong where somebody else's payment card has been used or some you have gone against um, Google's policies, then you will have a bit of a problem. I would say a big problem because without Google, we can't do anything these days. Okay, hi, Alamine. Um, yesterday I ran a campaign at the daily budget of $20 and set two ad groups, okay? The night I noticed that I was charged $40, fine. Now I want to know, do each ad groups of charge individually? though I set a daily budget at $20 in the campaign. So you will find that on some days, Google is going to charge you more and don't freak out. At the end of 30 days or in that month, Google will not charge you more than 30.4 days times your budget, whatever you have put in. So next day, it might come down to 30 or 20 or whatever. Let it run. Don't get stressed about Google charging double. You, If your budget is, let's say, $20 a day times 30.4 days, you will not get charged more than that. If they do, Google is going to not charge you or refund you for that uh, excessive amount. Okay. So last 30 days, conversions 209, phone calls 28. Per day ad spend $70, deals close 25%. Good. Niche is the construction niche in New York. Okay. Any recommendations how I can optimize this campaign further? So what do you would like to do? Increase the conversions or phone calls or the ad spend or the deals close is at the client end or your end. Google can't close your deals for you. So to optimize it, you can look at that even. That in, let's go take our closing from 25 to 30 percent or 35 percent. That is going to give you higher ROI. Um, you're getting these conversions, and then you have got some data over here. I would look at that and say, okay, in this campaign, I've got 147 conversions at six dollars point zero four. 20 leads over here at 1286 and 35 conversions at 1678. So this is the most expensive one. Now, what is your Target cost per acquisition. That's what you want to ask yourself. If your target CPA is, let's say, $10, then you keep on increasing this. You don't need to optimize. Google is already giving you a great number of uh, conversions at a good price. Don't touch anything. Just keep on increasing the budget by 15, 20% every few days and spend as much time, uh, as much money as you can. Obviously, you need to ask your client if that is your client account and cut out all the wasted ones or the most expensive ones. That's what we do. If I'm paying almost double, more than double over here in this campaign, why should I do that? Because this, this is a smart campaign. These two are the display and you're getting good conversions. And the beauty with display and YouTube is scalability. You can really scale. There's unlimited traffic on there. You give Google, you know, Five hundred thousand, two thousand dollars a day, and Google is going to spend it and get you the results. So I would definitely, for sure, start to scale this. I would not look at optimizing it further um, unless there are placements where you can see lots of budget is being wasted. But just keep 
you know, slowly increasing the budget and stopping the expensive uh, campaigns. And this is where a lot of people also overthink and overcomplicate about optimization because if you can get more conversions over here at six or four dollars and you increase your deals close to 30 percent then your cost per acquisition comes down quite a bit and also are you limited by budget that's the first thing because if i'm getting 147 conversions i'm not sure what the day range is and you're limited by budget I wouldn't want to be limited by budget on this because $6 leads and if they are good quality leads, it's pretty good. So well done. Okay. I tried to create, I tried to use target CP on my performance max campaign. Okay. After a few days, it showed limited by budget as per Google recommended. I have increased budget now after again, after a few days showing limited by budget. Can you please help me with this? What? next i can do to fix this you can't fix this because google says there is a lot more traffic you can get do you want to spend more money if you can handle the number of leads and sales then yes keep on increasing if you can't and you're happy then you will always be targeted by or limited by uh, budget so what i would recommend um you do is you if it's your own campaign or your client campaign you ask yourself this question, do I need more business? Do I want to grow my business? And this is how you keep growing. If you're spending 50 bucks a day, you then go to 870, then 100, then 150, and 200, and keep on increasing. As long as your conversion rate is constant or staying constant or improving, you will never lose money. And th this is where the concept of unlimited budget comes in. Some of our clients we work with, they've given me permission to increase the budget as much as I want. As long as we are maintaining that minimum um, or the maximum uh, target CPA or the minimum ROAS. If those numbers if are being uh, met, they can, we can scale. And that's what we would do in this case as well. Hi Priyanka, I've been running the ads campaign for the last 15 days. Objective for that is lead gen. I have been getting clicks, but not conversions. Please, can you help? Going back to that first uh, comment or the first question, which I covered. I don't know how you set up what you are setting up and what you are getting. Um, and if you are getting the clicks, look at your search terms. Look at your keywords, look at your ads, get all your Google ads account in place first. Once you have met your KPIs or those metrics and the goals, then you look on your website and see what's happening. Thank you, um, Tracy. I believe you are uh, referring to the audits, which we do uh, for anyone. And if, if you do want your audit done, ping me your ping me a message and your website address and we can have a look at it. 